My name is Kim Wyant, and I have been coaching at NYU for about 10 years. When I first started, I was on the women's staff as an assistant coach for Michelle Canning, and I believe I spent four seasons with her. I was hired to lead the men's program in 2015. So if we had had a season last year during COVID, it would have been my sixth year as the men's head, head coach. Being a fall sport, we report to campus earlier than the student population, which I think is a huge plus for our athletes, especially the incoming freshmen, because as you know, it's a, it's a huge transition for them. We're competing against uh, schools like University of Chicago, Case Western, which is in Cleveland. We're very much like a Division I soccer program in that we have to get on an airplane and actually travel to play a game in a different time zone, which is very unique to the UAA. In the daily life of an NYU uh, soccer player, it's um, very demanding. We're in the middle of New York City, which challenges student athletes in ways that are not challenged if you're on a traditional type of uh, campus. Uh, we uh, have practices in the middle of the day, either at 11 o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the afternoon. There's a certain amount of uh, travel time that's required for us to get over to where our practice facility is, which is on the West Side Highway at Pier 40. We practice six days a week. We generally have one to two games a week. We're playing into November and into early December if we're in the NCAA championship, which is uh, obviously our goal. One of the questions generally that a crew will ask is, where do you play your games? And I always say we play at Gaelic Park, which is part of Manhattan College, which is up in the Bronx. And although it's not technically our home, that you know, in terms of we own it, it feels like our home. You know, we've been playing games there uh, for as long as uh, I've been here. The university does a great job because everything is dressed in the NYU logos. It's unique that you have to travel the distance that we have to travel, but it goes in with being a part of this university where we don't technically you know, have borders and have walls, which says, okay, this defines where the campus is. So the NYU men's soccer program is built on three pillars, which is compete, respect, and elevate. We expect that uh, motto to be present in the lives of an NYU soccer player throughout campus. So you can compete on the soccer field, but you can also compete in the classroom. We have a very, very strong um, alumni network in men's soccer that currently is helping uh, players uh, get internships and get leads on jobs. So there is, a, there is a deep relationship between the alumni that have been a part of the NYU men's soccer program reaching back, back to help the current students with their, with their careers. And so we expect the highest standards from players that are part of our program. And that's what a lot of players are seeking. You know, where can I go to school where I'm in an um, uber competitive academic environment in this great setting of New York City? But where can I also go to extend my competitive playing career?